Okay, math people, let's see if I can uh, get this right this time and save you some time putting this chart thing together. So the first thing you need to do is open Excel, have the students enter in their data. Here I'm just going to cut and paste from the Word document that I got from uh, Marin. And so here's the data thing. Um, to put in a chart, we go to insert and put in chart. And then a new, this part pops up, so you want a column chart. I'm going to choose the first column right here and boom there you go so now as we were trying to figure out how to get around this whole thing uh, i'm going to move this over to the side a bit Let's scroll down here move this chart down so what we didn't like is we, did, we wanted this down here to say year and this same one so what we're going to do is go in make sure this is selected and we're going to go into select data i right clicked on it sorry select data and we're going to remove year from the chart. So if you look at it down here, now we only have one column. And the other thing we want to do is we want to do the category X axis labels. Instead of one, two, three, four, five down here, we want it to read um, the years. Okay. So then I'm going to go is um, click on here. That'll open up this thing. And then make sure I've got the year selected. Go and select that, as you can see, and click on this and say OK. And as I bring this chart back into view, oops, back into view, uh -uh. sometimes it's frustrating using this mouse. OK, bringing this back up. OK, maybe not. There you have the chart. So hopefully these will help, and then you can go in here, students can edit the, the title of the graph, they can edit the, the legend and so forth. So this gives you a nice little, there's your profits, and there's your progression in the years. Um, I hope that helps.